Hey, this is Andreas from Nothing But Tablets and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create some quick and simple sleep timers using Tasker for Android. Tasker being an automation app that you can get in Google Play for about six or seven dollars. So a lot of apps have sleep timers built in but uh, some don't and there are also a lot, a lot of features that you can actually add to the sleep timer functionality by using tasker instead of using the app itself so i'm going to just go through how to set up a few different uh, types of sleep timers and then we'll take it from there so let's start off with a very simple sleep timer uh, let's create a sleep timer for audible which is my audiobook app so i'm going to create a new profile in tasker called audible and then as the first contact, which is basically the trigger, I'm going to select Audible, which means that this will, uh, the profile will be active as long as Audible is running. Then I'm going to create a new task and call it Timer. And uh, what you call it is of course not important. Uh, and then I'm going to go into the action category and start adding tasks. So I will be using very short timer uh, times in this video just to be able to demonstrate that this is actually working but where you would actually find the right timer delays is in task and then in wait uh, and that basically gives you some sliders that you can set the wait time for uh, so let's just choose seven seconds for this one just to make sure that it happens quickly and what's going to happen after seven seconds is that since this is a media player, I don't actually need to kill the app or anything that extreme in order to make it turn off. All I need to do is use the media control button and then select the pause functionality, which basically means that after seven seconds, it sends a pause command to the app if Audible is running. So I'm going to just uh, check myself out of Tasker and then go into Audible and actually try it. So um, if I can actually start playing the track quickly enough. Okay, so it played for about two seconds. I don't know if you can, if you actually saw that, but let's head out again and into it once again. And just pay attention up in the uh, top left corner and look at the uh, player actually playing and then turning off so that's basically a very simple timer basically you just use it uh, for whatever time you want it to turn off uh, but it doesn't stop there let's say that um, you listen to audiobooks all day long but you only want the sleep timer to be active when you actually go to bed so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask uh, add a going to long press and add a new contact called time so here is where you would actually set the time for when you want the sleep timer to be active so for instance you might want it to be active only between uh, 10 at night and uh, 3 in the morning or something like that and then all the rest of the time the timer won't activate at all but just to be able to actually demonstrate this for I'm just going to make sure that we're actually in the uh, we're in this time period right now um, so I'm just going to select it for uh, about five minutes ago to about an hour so let's just pretend that uh, this is actually when you're asleep and then once again back into audible and uh, well you can imagine what happens it stops after seven seconds so that's just a way to make sure that uh, this automated timer isn't uh, sort of ruining things for you for the rest of the day and then let's say that uh, you want to gradually fall asleep so that uh, you want to start off playing at full volume and then you want to gradually um, come down so what I'm going to do is I'm going to head into the audio section of Tasker, select media volume and put that to the max volume and it's going to 
warn me that it's harmful and everything. And I'm going to drag that one up to the top so that once you start the app, then it sets the media volume to uh, the maximum possible. Uh, I'm just going to copy that one by long pressing and pasting stuff. Then I'm going to drag one of these after the wait period. So basically set the media volume to max, then wait seven seconds and then set the media volume to, um, let's say two. I'm going to just increase the delay so it's easier to actually see the effect. So what's going to happen now is that it's going to select, set the volume uh, to the maximum when you start the app and then after 10 seconds it's going to actually lower it so you can just make sure that the volume is low I can go back into audible and as you can see it set the volume to maximum and then if we just wait 10 seconds or so it actually decreased the volume and then I paused it immediately. That's because I didn't put any delays between it lowering the volume and it uh, pausing the music or the booking in this case. But what you would want to do if you want sort of a fade out is for instance, let's say that you want to listen to music at a gradually lower volume over a period of an hour, then you would perhaps set it to start off at 10 and then put in a five minute delay and then set it down to nine five minute delay and so on and so forth and then finally a five minute delay and then turn off the music this is just an example to show you how you can actually do this um so let's just add this delay between it turning off as well um, let's just turn it back down to yeah five seconds sounds about right and then let's um, let's say that you want to actually be notified of how long you've been listening so uh, let's create an alert and uh, make it a vibrating alert for two seconds and put that in between uh, the wait periods along with the media volume. So if you read this uh, from the top now, it basically says that when you start audible, uh, increase volume to max, then you wait five seconds, then you lower the volume to two, and then you vibrate, then you wait another, wait another five seconds, and then you turn off the playback. So, uh, I guess you can probably hear if it's vibrating or not, but and there it stopped playing. So that's essentially a way that you can sort of give yourself a tiny notification uh, of how long you've been playing and then you know if you having trouble sleeping or something like that so basically by using different things like this you can uh, create very intricate timers that only work at certain parts of the day and let you know and fix the volume and all sorts of things um, but let's move on to another type of timer entirely let's create a timer for people who have children because children like to play angry birds and other sorts of games and it might be difficult to tell them that it's time to go to sleep and stop playing with the device so um, let's say that uh, during the day you have the tablet set to have no uh, password or pin code to unlock the screen so that your kid can use it as much as you want uh, once but at night if he uses it at night uh, you want him to be able to play for only a certain period of time and then you want him to not be able to play anymore 
So the way you could do that is to create a new profile, select an application context, and then you basically just select everything he might actually do at night, like uh, uh, playing Angry Birds or Cut the Rope in this case. Um, and then I'm going to create a new timer. And then we're going to select a delay. So I'm not actually not going to run this one. So let's say one hour. Um, and then we want the key guard to turn on. And then we want the system to lock. And finally, I'm going to add another context to this, which is a time of day between, I don't even know when children have to go to bed, to be honest. So if I do like that, and that was probably confusing, so I'm just going to go through what I just did. This basically says that if Angry Birds or Cut the Rope is running between 1900 hours and 2300 hours, then you wait for a one hour, then you activate the password lock on the screen unlock, and then you lock the screen. So basically assuming that uh, the kid doesn't have the password to unlock the screen because that feature is normally off, then it would basically completely disable the tablet for him if he plays Angry Birds or something like that for an hour at night. So this is basically just a very quick way to show you how it works because this one is actually a bit flawed in that he could exit the app and then go back into the app and stuff like that but it's just a demonstration to show you how you can create sort of intelligent timers that work the way you want them to work so finally let's say that uh, i'm just creating some peculiar names right here but let's say that um you're not happy with your work so that uh, uh if you're working at night if you're working with documents at night um, then you want to sort of have it automatically close you out of everything after an hour uh, because perhaps you're only allowed to work an hour at night um, have be paid for it or whatever you get the point so then you would actually first add the timer task for an hour and um, as you can as you probably saw I forgot to sort of comment on it I would basically just select an app that's a typical productivity app um, and then I'm actually going to use the go home functionality and then just to sort of put a definite stop to the work kill the app and then if I go back into here and add another time context to it and I'm not going to program this one right now but so there you have it so basically this one says that if I'm using this productivity night uh, productivity app at night then wait for an hour go back to the home screen and kill the app so that's uh, that could be used to some sort of uh, make sure you keep track of how much time you're using uh, doing work at night or something like that of course you don't actually have to kill the app you could for instance have it notify you every hour you're using specific apps in order to sort of make it easier for you to keep track of uh, how much you're working so these are just examples. Task Rig is extremely powerful and just the sleep timer functionality in itself has sort of limitless possibilities in what you, uh, what you can do with it. But hopefully you've gotten some ideas of how you can create sleep timers. 
and uh, just looking at uh, this first timer I created right now you can see that this is a lot more complicated and in my opinion more powerful in the process than just the sleep timer functionality in the app because this sets itself it notifies you it controls volume uh, the whole shebang so that's it uh, hopefully this has not been too confusing because tasker is unfortunately a rather confusing app um, as always thank you for watching and i'll talk to you later